Finally, the first ever Android 14 custom ROM has been released for the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So hello and welcome guys, welcome to Cracksoid and in today's video, I'm going to dive deep into this ROM and give you an in-depth review so that you'll have all the necessary information about this Android 14 custom ROM. And I'll also check for any potential bugs and determine whether it's worth upgrading your device to this latest Android 14 custom ROM or not. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is the very first Android 14 custom ROM for all MIRTL devices. I know you are curious about the name of this ROM, so without further suspense, the name of this Android 14 ROM is Takila OS. Yes, this is the first ROM that officially brings Android 14 to MIATL devices. You can also notice the Android security update of October 5, 2023, which is the latest security patch available at the moment. Regarding the kernel, Melon kernel is implemented in this ROM. It typically comes with this melon kernel and I also checked whether this kernel supports kernel SU or not. I found that this melon kernel which is available with Tequila OS indeed supports kernel SU. Launcher Now let's jump into the default launcher available in this room. As you can see it comes with the Tequila launcher which unfortunately doesn't offer many customization features. Heading into the launcher's home setting, you'll be surprised to find only four options available, which is quite limited compared to other rooms. When you navigate to the recent app section, you'll notice there's just a screenshot icon for quick actions. After taking a screenshot, you will only be able to share and edit it. The option to scan it using Google Lens, which was available in previous builds, is no longer there. Additionally, in the app info section, you have only three options, open, disable and force stop the app. It would have been more convenient if they included an uninstall option there. Camera. Now let's turn our attention to the camera provided by this Tequila room. This room includes the Google camera, which delivers excellent photos. It features a night mode for low light photography and supports portrait shots in addition to regular shots. When it comes to videography, you can record up to 4K video at 30 FPS with this camera. However, the 60 FPS option is available but does not function correctly. Moreover, you can unlock some additional features in this camera app. If you enter the settings section, you'll find a modification section at the end, which includes a secret option called auxiliary camera. From here, you can enable telephoto, wide and macro camera options for both photos and videos. However, this feature is not as effective as it used to be and you may want to experiment with it to see for yourself. Safety net status. Now let's take a closer look at the safety net status of this ROM. You will determine whether Android 14 Tequila OS passes the safety net test. As you can see, this ROM has successfully passed the safety net compatibility test, indicating that it meets the necessary requirement, which is a good thing. Quick settings. Let's jump into the quick setting panel. When using the quick setting panel, there are no noticeable slowdowns in this Android 14 ROM, which is a positive sign given that this is an initial update for the phone. Taking a look at the available tiles, you will find a limited selection, including QR code scanner, calculator, extra dim, dark theme, font size, and more. And this QR code scanner tile does not work here. What's interesting is the security and privacy tile. Tapping on it reveals four more tile options for camera, microphone, location, and security settings, leading you to the actual security and privacy settings on the phone. Moreover, you can also scan the device to ensure everything is in order, which is a valuable addition in this Android 14 update. Wallpaper and style. Now let's take a closer look at the wallpaper and style section of Tequila OS. Here you will notice a slightly different dashboard compared to previous versions. 
Notably, you now have the option to customize the home screen and lock screen separately. A noteworthy addition in Android 14 is the ability to change the clock's color and size directly from here. You can choose from variety of color options and even adjust the luminance of the applied color which is a great feature. For size, you can choose between dynamic and small options, offering you more control and flexibility. This is a highly convenient feature that I personally appreciate. In the wallpaper and style section, you will find a limited selection of options. Themed icons and upgrade are the primary choices and there are no options for left and right shortcut icons in lock screen mode. Additionally, the wallpaper color and basic color options have been relocated with the name of basic color changed to other color in the Android 14 update. You'll also notice the absence of gradient color option and the number of color choices is relatively limited compared to the Android 13 update. Lastly, there's the dark theme option available. Settings. Now, after reviewing various aspects, let's delve into the settings section of this Tequila OS based on Android version 14. I'd like to mention that I have also reviewed the Android 13 based Tequila OS, which featured a Tequila OS settings section at the top. This section contained additional customization settings. However, in this Android 14 based Tequila OS, I noticed that the entire Tequila OS settings section has been removed. Consequently, you won't have access to extra customizations, including those for the status bar, quick settings, notifications, buttons, and more. It's possible that this change is due to the initial release of Android 14, but I cannot confirm this. So if you happen to know the exact reason, feel free to share it with us by leaving a comment below. Network and Internet So now let's explore the network and internet settings. One thing I noticed in this Android 14 update is the absence of an option to scan for Wi-Fi networks directly within the internet section. This feature is quite crucial in today's world and it used to be conveniently located alongside the Add Network option. However, it has been removed from this section. Upon further investigation in the settings menu, I discovered the hidden Wi-Fi scan option which is now tucked away inside the add network option. You'll find it next to the SSID section. Personally, I find the placement of this Wi-Fi scan icon deep within the menu less user friendly than it was before. Regarding private DNS, there are no pre-added custom DNS providers. If you wish to use a private DNS provider, you'll need to manually enter the DNS settings. Apps. In the app setting, I was searching for the game space settings, but unfortunately, just like the Android 13 ROM, this update also lacks the game space option. Battery. Now let's navigate to the battery settings. Here you'll find four different options. Battery uses, battery saver, battery percentage, and battery widgets. And this battery widget is not even functioning, which is sad to see. What's notable is the inclusion of battery percentage in the battery settings making it convenient and easy to locate. It's worth mentioning that the battery manager options which were present before have been removed. In the battery saver option, there is a new feature that allows you to activate battery saver mode at 90% and this is enabled by default. However, it's important to note that the extreme battery saver option which was available in Android 13 rooms is currently missing. Hopefully, this feature will be reintroduced in future updates. Sound and Vibration In the Sound and Vibration settings, you will come across an option to clear the speaker which plays a 30 second audio to enhance audio clarity. Just below that, you will find the Dirac Sound Enhancer option designed to optimize sound quality. Additionally, there is a Hi-Fi option that primarily reduces noise and distortion while enhancing audio quality. I haven't extensively tested these features in this room, so I cannot provide a specific feedback on how well they perform in practical scenarios. Display settings. In the display setting, you won't find many new features, but if you scroll down the bottom, you will discover the enable ignore window secure flags option. This feature essentially allows you to capture screenshots and record the screen in restricted apps. 
such as banking apps, streaming apps, Facebook locked profiles and more. Additionally, in the display settings, you'll find a display settings section that includes a custom dark theme option. This pitch black theme is a valuable addition, especially since it wasn't available when I reviewed the Android 13 version of Tequila OS. Security and privacy settings. Now let's explore the security and privacy settings. In this section, you'll notice some changes in the dashboard. You can set your screen lock and fingerprint by navigating to the device unlock section. However, unfortunately, I couldn't find the face unlock option here, which might be disappointing for users. This lack of face unlock was also present in the Android 13 version of Tequila OS. Speaking of disappointments, when you go back and attempt to access more security and privacy settings, it simply redirects you to the main setting menu. This is a bug in this version of Tequila OS and not an ideal situation. Gestures. Now let's jump into the gesture setting where you'll discover six different options. Quickly open camera, navigation mode, one-handed mode, Press and hold power button, swipe to screenshot, and prevent ringing. In this press and hold power button setting, you have the choice between the power menu and digital assistant options. Notably, there are no options for advanced restart or long press for touch in this gesture setting section. Conclusion So that wraps up our review for the Takila OS based on Android version 14. This marks the debut of the official Android 14 custom room for the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. And it's indeed an exciting development. Recently, the Dorfest room has also released the Android 14 based update for MI tool devices and I am planning to review that room as well. In summary, Takila OS aims to make a positive impact on custom room users by offering fast updates and a stable room with minimal customizations. This minimalistic approach results in a powerful, smooth and stable experience. However, it's important to note that this specific Android 14 update being the initial release comes with limited customizations and features. It's expected that more Android 14 customizations will be implemented in future updates. Unfortunately, this update has a bug in the security settings and many features and customizations have been removed. For now, sticking with the Android 13 based Tequila OS may be a better choice in terms of overall functionality and features. As improved updates are released, I'll review and suggest this ROM accordingly. If you are eager to experience official Android 14 on your device, you can give it a try. It's not the worst and most daily use features and settings work fine. However, for those who desire more of Android 14 features, a bit more patience is needed. So that's all for today's video. I hope you like my video and if you like my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and share this video and also subscribe to Cracksway YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.